we've got <coughs> the new second momentum garage trailer obviously the ground the white wire is attached to nothing so I need to attach the ground other than that all the wiring appears to be intact um, the tag plate I got a new one of those um, we've got I've got a new cover for the light um, so a combination of one two fix the wiring um, it should be legal and ready to roll um, these tires are 100% shot look at how terrible that dry rod is uh, which is too bad because the tread is like new clearly he, he said he just took it around the farm rate regularly but this is made by fish trailers there it is fish trailer ink out of uh, Falkville, Alabama um, it's already got a serial number um, so that's awesome um, I like that it's got you know a good Dexter axle serialized number shop built trailer most of the subframe is uh, two inch by two inch square tubing um, <clears throat> the actual frame appears to be two inch by uh, either three or four inch but it is solid it's not a C channel or I beam came with a box up front I need to figure out a place to mount a spare tire uh, as of right now I'm uh, kinda leaning towards just sticking one right here facing forward so it'd be kinda flat into the wind but it's right up against the truck since the tongue's not that long um, another thing to note these things come up and are my ramps since this trailer was built to be an ATV trailer it's supposed to hold one here and then two back here so what top I need some uh, kind of d-ring loops I need about six so I can hold three bikes coming forward uh, you know pull them up this way hook them this way um, on this we're probably gonna put one d-ring on each one of these We'll probably put um, maybe something. I need something on the ground for sure. I don't know if I want to. I don't really want to put them right here. I think I want to put them on the ground. So if I set a pallet right here, that would be fine. Um, clearly, this is already bending down a little bit, like something heavy rolled right there for that piece of metal. However, I'm just mainly using it for motorcycles and the heavy stuff will be all flat and they'll be uh, evenly distributed for weight wise. Um, I'm probably, when I hold bikes, I'm thinking I can run them this way. So actually I might add a couple D-rings to the top of one side so I can tie some stuff down that way. And then uh, I, need, I need some down here. Well, actually, I can use the ones right here if on top. So probably just do that, and then I definitely need some along the front. Maybe I'll do them like under, underneath. That way, they don't get involved with this. The really question is the spare tire mount. Um, I could just do it easy, you know, get one of the ones that are in like a, in a loop or on the tongue that you see all over each trailer. But um, that will require moving the box, and the box is kind of nice for storage. The only other way I could do it is if, I mean, because I kind of need all those straps that are in there for this kind of trailer with what I plan to use it for. I don't know if I can stick some kind of toolbox right here. Now, this is a wiring tube that they the shop put in, so I wouldn't want to do it on this side, I don't think. Um, but potentially on this other side, if there was a box that was the right size, I could potentially stick right here. Granted, it'd be kind of hard to get in and out, but I mean, I don't really reach into it that often, so. Um, and plus, that would make it a much cleaner um, spare tire install. With that said, I could also put a spare tire maybe right here um, on the edge, and although I don't know, I think it'll fit. Could always stick one on this way, facing this way. But I just don't want that to interfere with any cargo. Um, so, 
honestly it's probably going to be honestly the spare tire is probably going to be on right here because I don't want to move the box so it's a Dexter axle most likely 3,500 pound the trailer tag itself does not list a weight it does not list a weight rating or anything so I would have to uh, I guess just Google or check with the DMV on what it was registered as because uh, that apparently this shop trailer indus or fish fish trailers closed down. So uh, I like the coupler. It's a I don't know what kind of coupler that is, but it's very firm and smooth. Um, A box. I don't have anything really in there right now. Big box. Clearly, it's only held down by uh, two bolts. It looks like. So that's interesting. But he put that. I mean, that's permanent. That must be just self-tapping sheet metal screws because that goes right into the frame, and there's nobody getting a nut or anything under that. One thing, another upgrade I plan to do is a new jack. This one's kind of wobbly. Uh, I'm gonna go get a 5,000 pound Bulldog um, A-frame jack like that because they'll fit, be a little bit stronger. It might be overkill because the trailer itself probably will never ever see 5,000 pounds total weight. But uh, you know, for 50 bucks, it's a nice little thing to have. And he put tie-downs right here. One in the middle, um, not sure how I feel about that. I was kind of wanting to have a bike go straight down the middle, but uh, so that's got a little bit in the way. Now what I can do is I can, not or I can just add, uh, this is a nice piece of metal right here. I could add D-rings down this, but that might be a little bit tight space wise um, it probably be easiest to add whatever it is to the outside of the trailer that's, that's but uh biggest things biggest things are where to mount a spare tire if you have an idea of where I should put a spare tire on this let me know I don't want to keep it just lying there um, and if I should move the toolbox or not I don't know it's gonna be kind of a custom 